Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel Saikli Patshala. Go to our channel home page and click on the subscribe button. And to get notified for our future videos, click on the bell icon and choose the all option. To answer daily quiz on psychology, search for Saikli Patshala on Facebook and like our page. So let's start this video. In this video, we will be discussing about peripheral nervous system. By definition, peripheral nervous system or PNS is a neural channel that carries information from the receptors to the central nervous system and from the central nervous system to the effectors or organs of response, which are also known as the motor organs. It consists of fibers of sensory or afferent and motor or efferent neurons. The sensory fibers run from the sense organs into the central nervous system. The motor fibers run out from the central nervous system and activate or excite the motor organs, that is, the muscles and glands to respond or act. In the picture on the screen, as you can see, the blue lines are the peripheral nervous system or the sensory and motor nerves which are spread across the body. As you can see, these sensory and motor nerves are connected to the spinal cord and brain itself. In this way, they carry information from the receptor organs and take it to the spinal cord and the brain which are part of the central nervous system and then the command is given from the brain or the spinal cord and the information is carried to the muscles or glands to respond or act accordingly. Therefore, the main organs of peripheral nervous system are receptor organs. These organs receive the stimulus and send the impressions in the form of neural impulse to the central nervous system causing sensation. For example, we get the sensation of vision from our eyes, we get sensation of audition from our ears, we, and we get sensation of touch from our skin. Afferent or sensory nerve fibers are another important organs of peripheral nervous system. Through these fibers, the sensory input is transmitted to the central nervous system. As you can see from the picture, the sensation received by the skin is transmitted by a sensory neuron to the spinal cord. For example, the visual sensation is carried from eye to the brain by the visual sensory nerve and the sensation of audition or hearing is carried from the ear or the cochlea to the brain by the auditory sensory nerve. Upon reaching the central nervous system, the impulses demand a reaction and the reaction from the central nervous system is sent to the effectors or the motor organs through the efferent or motor nerve fibers. The effectors or motor organs are the ones where the motor impulses impinge upon and these organs get excited and perform the act as a response to the stimuli. As you can see from the picture, upon receiving a sharp painful sensation on the hand, the sensory receptors present in the skin sent the sensation through a sensory nerve to the spinal cord and upon receiving the information, the spinal cord sent back an immediate response or reaction through the efferent or motor nerve fibers to the effector or motor organs that is the muscle in this case, to react to the stimuli and move the hand right away. Peripheral nervous system includes cranial nerves and spinal nerves that connect the central nervous system with the receptors and effectors of the body. There are 12 pairs of cranial nerves that arise from the brain. From it, four pairs are sensory in nature and are concerned with the sensation of vision, olfaction, audition and balance. These nerves are olfactory nerve, optic nerve, auditory nerve, 
and vagus nerve. Other four pairs are motor in nature and are concerned with eye movements, regulation of pupils, visceral reflexes, tongue movements, etc. These nerves are oculomotor, trochlear, spinal accessory and hypoglossal. Another four pairs are mixed nerves which connect both kinds of fibers sensory and motor and are concerned with taste, swallowing, secretion of saliva, facial expression, proprioception, abduction of eye and visceral reflexes associated with pharynx, larynx, thoracic and abdominal viscera. These nerves are trigeminal, abducent, facial and glossopharyngeal. The spinal nerves are all mixed type. There are 31 pairs of them which arise from the spinal cord. There are 8 pairs of cervical nerves, 12 pairs of thoracic nerves, 5 pairs of lumbar nerves, 5 pairs of sacral nerves and 1 pair of coccygeal nerve. All spinal nerves arise from the two roots of the spinal cord, dorsal or sensory root and ventral or motor root. The dorsal root is formed of only fibers, the cell bodies, which are located in the dorsal root ganglion. Sensory impulses from the receptors travel through dorsal root. Ventral roots are formed by motor fibers, the cell bodies of which are located in the ventrolateral horn of grey matter and their axons lead to the muscles in the peripheral tissues. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Click on the circle to subscribe to our channel. Click on the boxes to watch other videos on our channel. Like this video and share it with your friends.